Hola, mis amores. Buenos dias. So good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for yet another plan with me in the love of my life, my happy planner, my mega happy planner, because she is thick. She is thick and chunky, thick and juicy. Yes, she is. So I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my reading journal today for the upcoming week. So if you're interested in checking out how I use my reading journal and seeing how I plan in my reading journal and how I decorate my reading journal, just keep on watching. First of all, I can't get over the pressed florals classic cover and the art in the planner in this particular planner i love her so much i i love flowers um flowers have such a special uh significance for me and they're so symbolic for me and culturally they mean a lot to me so i just i am a floral girl through and through and i just love the pastels and the foil on the cover i put her on these uh lavender and hot pink um expander discs and i alternated the colors and i just love how that looks so we're going to be turning to my reading journal section this particular planner i have two um, planners that have been franken planned that i've combined various planners into into one to make one you know custom mega planner for myself i have two this is my second one my first one is over here somewhere it's the colorful leopard planner and she's also thick and juicy but this planner has a lot of my more fun and extracurricular hobbies and interests and i use these planners less as planners and more like journals and workbooks my other planner has a little bit more of my serious like functional stuff like my fitness my household my work stuff and this planner has um, like my reading journal, my YouTube channel um, planner, my language learner journal, things like that. So, and I just have a lot of fun with this planner because it's just meant to be fun. It's not meant to stress me out. I don't feel obligated to, you know, work in it every single day. So this is my reading section here. It's separated from the previous section, which is actually my friends and family scrapbook with a piece of scrapbook paper and on the back of that scrapbook paper I have some bookish themed stickers mostly from this uh, Parcraft Smith sticker book that was in this like bookish theme but I also have some Happy Planner bookish stickers in here as well and then this was the end of June and then we have my July overview which I like to use this checklist here as a vocabulary list of all the new words I've learned um, through all of my reading. I actually haven't learned that many words. I'm surprised because I usually fill this up pretty quickly. And in this little section here, I use this to make a note of any books that I have learned about that I want to add to my to be read list. So I have those here. Then we have the July divider and the July monthly overview which I like to um, write any book club meetings I have. I'll make a note of when I start reading a book or when I finish reading a book and anything bookish related that has a date associated with it, I will write in the calendar view. And then this was the first week of July. This was the second week of July. I actually wasn't able to write uh, that much this week and then this is the current week and I have my reading bookmark here and I actually was able to write quite a bit this week and um, I still haven't written for the weekend but I probably will fill up both of these boxes tonight and we're gonna be planning it for the upcoming week July the 19th through the 25th so I'll pull these out of the planner and get to decorating so like i said i don't really use this particular planner as a planner i'm not trying to plan out when i'm reading or my reading goals sometimes i will do that but it's not necessarily uh the main way that i use this planner and i honestly use this less as a planner and more of a more as a um as a what do you call it a reading journal so uh, the horizontal layout that the happy planner has which is that layout where each day is horizontal and it's lined really lends itself perfectly to that uh to to journaling you just have a section that is perfect 
for writing and so I've been really enjoying um, this as my reading journal. So I'm just taking this scrapbook paper that I have. It's one of those old-timey looking scrapbook papers and I really like this aesthetic for my reading journal because it, I don't know, it just kind of gives me those reading journal vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste all of that down and tidy, tidy it up a little bit. So some of that scrapbook paper ended up covering the um, the punched holes here. So I just like to go in and repunch those holes that I covered up. So I have this Parcraft Smith uh, sticker book, which is bookish themed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take some of the stickers from this wonderful sticker book and just decorate my spread. These are really, really cute stickers, and I'm so happy they came out with a sticker book that is bookish themed. Although I wish there were um, a little bit more, um, that there were more like bookish themed stickers. There's a lot of like functional household stickers, and um, while that is great, I kind of want just more like bookish themed stickers. I would love if the Happy Planner came out with another book themed um, sticker book. So how I like to use my reading journal, I'll just journal in it um, whenever I want and sometimes I'll write quotes, um, sometimes I'll take notes of the books that I'm reading, sometimes I'll just write about my feelings concerning the book, whether I liked it, whether I don't like it, why I don't like it, or why I like it. And um, for the box stickers, I will usually use these to write down quotes direct from the books that I'm reading, just quotes that I really, really like. I'll write those down in the quote boxes. Oh, and I actually wanna grab this sticker here from the Happy Illustration sticker book because it says, drink tea, read books, enjoy life. And I think that is perfect for this spread here. And for these shorter boxes, which I can't really fit in like a large quote, I'll usually use these little boxes um, to write just like words that I like um, or just like a new vocabulary word. So I'll just pop that there. And actually, I think I'm gonna go into my Garden Flowers sticker book and grab some of these um, potted plant stickers because I think these are really, really cute for, uh, for a spread like this. Okay, really, really cute. I am loving how it's turning out. And I also like to use stamps in my reading journal for the same reason that I like using this uh, old-timey scrapbook paper. I just really like the look of stamps and for some reason I associate that look with a reading. Um, probably because, you know, back in the old-timey days, they used to like stamp in your uh, library book when you checked it out of the library. So I have this stamp that says, and the story begins, which I think is a really perfect stamp for my reading journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this stamp. Let's see, where do I wanna put it? Maybe up here or down here. I kinda wanna put it up here. Ah, oh, there we go, perfect. That's so cute. And maybe I'll use this stamp, which is a little teapot, because I have my little drink tea, read books, enjoy life sticker. So I think that would go really well 
and what hmm, I think I might and I think I might use this Potter's Clay Memento ink uh, to stamp. Oops. All right, where should I put this? I think I'll put this down here. Cute, very cute. And then I'm gonna take this little like curl design stamp and use my Golden Gilt Delicata ink pad to just uh, just sprinkle these throughout the spread, no rhyme or reason, uh, just to add a little bit of decor, you know, here and there. Great, I really like how that turned out, and I think I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead and take these, uh, the stamp, these stamps, um, a thimble stamp and a button stamp, and I'm just gonna uh, stamp these down here at the bottom. Stamping is so much fun. I have like 50 stamps, 50 different types of stamps, and I got them all at a thrift store for like $4. It was insane. Stamps are so expensive usually. And so I was so happy to be able to get some, all the, like a whole, a huge amount of stamps for a few dollars. And I think that's it for today. I went crazy with the stamps, but I really like how it turned out. I think it's super cute. This is definitely making me want to journal next week um, and flip to this section and journal about whatever it is I'm reading. That's one of the joys of planning and decorating in your planner is that you really uh, encourage and motivate yourself in a very unique and creative way to complete and accomplish tasks in your life. So whatever it is in your life, that you want to be better at or make progress in or improve whether that be fitness whether that be gardening whether that be reading whether that be learning a new language or learning a new skill or a new sport or a musical instrument get yourself a planner and decorate it have fun with it and then it becomes like a tool or a vehicle through which you can accomplish those goals in your life um, but just beginning to motivate yourself kind of in this tangential way definitely, definitely tricks your mind and your spirit into actually wanting to do whatever it is you're trying to set out to do. So decorating this page and seeing how cute it is really, really appeals to me. It makes me want to read and it makes me want to journal about what it is I'm reading. And I have definitely seen myself be reading a lot more and a lot more consistently ever since I started my reading journal slash planner. Another reason why the Happy Planner is such an amazing company. Currently, I think I'm reading five books. I know, I know, that's so many books. But I am a huge bookworm. If you're interested in hearing a bit more about the different books that I'm reading, definitely go check out my book tag and my uh, July book buzz video, which I should have uploaded by now. So I'm reading five books right now. I'm reading Black Faces, White Spaces by Dr. Carolyn Finney. I'm reading Taipan by James Clavell. I'm actually listening to that one on Audible. I am reading Two Cheers for Anarchism by James C. Scott, um, the physical copy. I'm also reading Mastering Mindfulness, which is a really, really short and sweet, um, just 101 on mindful living. It's very, very short and a very quick read. So, you know, it's not surprising I'm reading so many books. That one's also a physical copy. And if you're interested in hearing more about the books that I'm reading and the books that I have just finished reading and the ones I'm hoping to read in the coming months, definitely go check out my book buzz video and my mid-year book tag video, which I should have uploaded by now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys back into my reading journal. So let's grab these pages here and pop them in.
Yeah, I really love how this spread turned out. I am a huge fan of using um, mixed media in my planners and in my art in general. So stickers, stamps, scrapbook paper, and after I write in it, you know, I'll use pen, pencil. And I just really love that look of different materials and different textures. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for tuning in to this plan with me and definitely let me know your thoughts on this spread and also what are you currently reading? What books are you currently reading right now? Let a girl know in the comments down below. I would really love to know. I love talking to you all and meeting new people through this platform and I would love to just get to know you all better and like have more of a relationship with all of you who watch my videos and my channel i mean it would be amazing um just to get to know you all better so yeah let me know let your girl know drop a comment down below and i'll catch you in my next video adios mis amores